There are 79 known moons of Jupiter. What if we moved Earth into its orbit too? How would Jupiter's super strong gravity affect our lives? What would our skies look like? And how long could you survive on a freezing planet that's full of volcanoes? This is what if, and here's what would happen if the Earth was a moon of Jupiter. When you run into an old friend in the last place you'd expect to see them, you figure it's a small world. When you find out that the planet Jupiter could hold over 1,300 Earths, you realize it's a tiny world. Picture this, if the Earth was the size of a grape, Jupiter would be the size of a basketball. We've got one moon, Jupiter has 79 and counting. So yeah, Jupiter's a big deal. And orbiting it would be a dream for all you Instagrammers out there. But in this case, a picture doesn't make it last longer. When every day is a struggle for survival. It's a really, really cold morning. And that's because Jupiter is 778 million kilometers from the Sun. That means 25 times less luminosity and 25 times less heat than we currently enjoy at Earth's present location. Fortunately, the Sun is super bright, so we'd still get daylight. But if we were to compare Earth to Jupiter's closest moon, Io, days would be about 40 hours long. Of course, that wouldn't really matter, because if you were born on the Earth moon of Jupiter, you'd probably grow up not knowing sunlight. The gravitational pull from Jupiter's other nearby moons and the planet itself would generate extreme tidal forces. These would actually generate a lot of heat on our planet moon, but internally. This explains why Jupiter's atmosphere is about minus 145 degrees Celsius, while its core temperature is hotter than the surface of the Sun. So yeah, that's how you end up in a world where, if the cold doesn't get you, then maybe the daily earthquake, tsunami, or volcanic eruption will. Well, either that or you'll just be cooked to death. Jupiter's magnetic field is 10 times stronger than Earth's, meaning that it emits a million times more radiation. So, if you really want to make life on Jupiter's Earth-Moon work, living underground is your best bet. Even still, could you survive a year on Jupiter? One year on Earth is one month on Jupiter, since it takes Jupiter 12 years to go around the Sun. Every month on Jupiter, the planet gets hit by about 12 to 60 comets or asteroids. Large or small, their impacts are much more consequential, since Jupiter's gravitational pull accelerates these objects to a collision speed of about 216,000 kilometers per hour at the minimum. If Earth became one of Jupiter's moons, we're now in the line of fire. As a much, much smaller planet, we're less likely to be able to absorb these kinds of impacts. You've done your best living underground, but there's nowhere left to go when a sizable asteroid obliterates your home. So, thanks for playing. Better luck next time. But really, what did you expect? Pitting a grape against a basketball? That's just cruel. But points to you for style, courage, and above all, curiosity. And keep asking questions. The sky's the limit on what if.